Welcome to Northern Minnesota, where people come every year to enjoy the quiet sounds of nature. Birds chirping, the wind rustling through the leaves, animals scampering through the forest, and sweet burnouts. This is Chad. He's a father, an army veteran, and a car enthusiast, and he lives by one philosophy. No matter how young you are, or how old you get, Anyone can pick up a wrench and turn dreams into reality. Join us as we breathe new life into old metal one bolt at a time. Welcome to Honest Peyton's Feed Shop. Neighbors are burning something? Not sure what, but it's, you know. I thought I'd start with something on fire. They should know when I'm welding. I can't do that to me. I'm terrible. You saw. Actually, that one was pretty good. It didn't even turn out that bad. Still solid C minus, which for me, that's an A. Yeah. I'm changing these out because you know the other ones are garbage. Now you're like, why are you putting polypro? Because these actually hold, it'll be like 2,000 pounds for all of them. So I got those two done. It was actually really easy. Cut one weld off and then just pound it on with a hammer. It came off, so I just got these two to do. So I'm going to stand it up, see if I can flip it the other direction. Hey, all right, um, just got to find my ear protection. Where that is. You guys see it? No? Huh. Well, I've got some over here. And in here, yes, get this right here. I don't recommend these. That's what I have right now because I can't find anything. Good thing I did just now. Much better. Just cut the weld off. If you're wondering why I'm taking those off, here, look. <sighs> yep, that was my back. It was my back, not me. That was my back. Look at these things. They're, they serve a purpose, but not for what I need. Uh, let me know if you want them. Come pick them up. Okay, so I got that one cut. There, let me show you. Wow, look at that. And just, you know, give me the old uh, heave hole. This one's actually on there better than the other ones. I might have to cut it. You guys want to see some sparks? Huh? If anybody remembers what Peyton used to say for sparks, first one down in the comments, I'll tell you something. And I can tell you what. We, yep, sparks. Mm -hmm. All right, so I tried it off, you know, did the thing. Now, I'm just gonna clean this up. Yep, so I've got two grinders, one with the cutoff, one with the flat disc.
Picking up what I'm putting down. Yeah. So I'm just gonna tack here and here. And then I'll go back and Yeah, you can see. These are not my welding gloves. They're over there somewhere. Hey, cover your eyes, kids. I actually don't. You gotta watch this. And then it's pointless. Pretty thick stuff, so I got, you know, some pretty thick tacks on there. Hey now! It was hot. One more. See enough on that? Or do you want to see the you want to see the other side? Okay. Let's just move some ply here. Yeah? Okay. Then we'll burn it in. Oh, there you are. Hey, um, anyway, before I wreck this way, I actually burning it in. See, look at those. Huh? Yeah. I'm not going to show you what comes next. I promise. Were you guys recording that whole time? <laughs> Oops. I mean, it's, it's not horrible. I mean, there's some good ones in here, you know, but I'm learning. That's all I can say. Uh, I haven't been welding for a while. You guys have seen that I haven't been, so, you know, I kind of got... Whatever. I definitely got some burns in my arms today. No, that's not horrible. Jeremy, knock it off. It's not horrible. I almost fell down. Thanks, Jeremy. Since we're down to the last welds, I'll put these on. Because the first two welds, I didn't do anything. You know, a snap. Second one, the third ones, you saw I was in here, I had the blue gloves on. Yeah. You probably heard me yell, hey, now. Maybe you didn't. If you didn't, well, that's okay. If you did, I hope you laughed. I didn't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these just like that. Now, there's a weld that, there's a bump in this thing right here. It won't come off. But that's okay. I think I can still, still do it. All right, let me get set up and then we'll bring you around. Sticky. I've done worse. I'm not ashamed to show you this one. I mean, you'll still make fun of me, but it won't be as bad.
Okay, you ready? I know, I know, I know. Chad, why take this one? Wow, this is terrible. Okay, before you pass judgment, Arco taught me how to weld. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, here we go, kids. Not horrible. We'll burn them in. Bring it around in a minute. Hey, listen up, Speed Shop fans. Want to save yourself some honest pig and Speed Shop gear? Well, head to the link in our YouTube channel. There you're going to find some hats, hoodies, tees, stickers, and more. You can also scan this QR code if you're feeling tech savvy. Pick from our designs or design your own. Help support the shop. Get your HPSS gear today before it's gone. Actually, Arco did not teach me how. He showed me how a few times. But I'm going to blame him anyway. Anything you see that's poor... On those welds, that was him. All right, so now here we go. Watch. You guys see okay? All right, remember those stupid wheels? Well, now we got some other stupid wheels. Check this out. I actually think I could, run, I could roll this now, okay? The true test will be through the grass. Come on, knock it off. If I get stuck, I get stuck. I have triple A. Let's see. Heck yeah, man. Boom, son. Boom.